welcome today we would be talking about the digital resources in the last class we saw how offline and online programs vary and today we would understand the various digital resources for learning that are helpful so let's understand about those one by one the first is neptel that is national program on uh, on technology enhanced learning now this provides e learning electronic learning through online web and video portal mainly for sciences engineering engineering and humanities then you have virtual labs virtual labs are remote access labs which are established to help develop uh, courses mainly for undergraduate postgraduate and research level not for the school, school grade level the next is a spoken tutorial this is a initiative where we say talk to a teacher and this has been initiated through the national mission on education so the, through the national mission on education we have the idea of spoken tutorial that has been laid down and this has been brought into action by mhrd that is ministry of human resource and development so ministry is again important sometimes uh, these are the kind of direct questions that are asked cec is consortium on educational communication through this various inter university centers have been established uh, for higher education along with uh, uh, use of television and ict the next is e yantra e yantra is an initiative to incorporate robotics into the learning or the engineering education we can say then e shod sindhu is the portal where you have the electronic resources uh, the e resources which are available to universities colleges and finally foze which is very very important and recently termed as so it's free and open software in education now so far the issue was the proprietorship or, or the proprietary softwares which were there and they were not available in uh, a huge number to educational institutions through the fosse you have the open so open source softwares which are now available to the universities and it would enhance the learning so these were some of the major digital initiatives besides that some of the most important are e pathshala now this is a combined vision of mhrd government of india and ncert through this you have the various textbooks audio visual periodicals print and non print material which is available on the other hand you have e basta where you have only the electronic version of the books that is available now through e pathshala you have the parent the students and the teachers who would benefit from it you have devices which enable the e learning so e pub flip book are some of the examples of e pathshala where you can have uh, bookmarking highlighting everything is available digitally uh, you know about the events which are happening the audio visual sources are available and e basta as we already talked about it is books in electronic format so uh, mainly on the laptops and the most important benefit is those are portable you can review comment and read those uh they can be delivered immediately to you and uh, the editing takes a much shorter cycle because it has to be available online so it's much more quicker the next is very very important sugamya pustakalay now this is a uh, online library which is meant for uh, blind or people with low vision or people with any kind of print disability so this has been created by department of empowerment for persons with disability that's the divyang uh, which falls under the ministry of social justice and empowerment in collaboration with daisy foundation of india i'm empowered by tcs access so these are the important uh, role players which are important and there could be a kind of direct question what sugamya pustakale similarly you have national digital library which is a mission of mhrd under the national mission on education it's a framework of virtual repository of uh, digital uh, platform where you have all the uh, material that's being collected through a single window search facility all educational material is available there information is highly personalized it has the capability to host multiple subjects and more than 60 learning resources in 70 languages are present under national digital library so uh, Im important initiative that has been taken similarly you have nakshe portal as the name suggests nakshe means map so you this is a kind of mapping portal so all the topographical map open series maps which were surveyed by survey of india since the inception in 1767 
till date till the national map policy 2005 have been part of it now these have been available through aadhar authentication in the pdf format on a scale of 1 is to 50000 so that's again important uh, again in this you have the incorporation of the national data sharing and accessibility policy 2012 that has taken place with public funding online lab as the name suggest these are lab experiments which are taught on internet there is no physical presence of a lab that is seen you have interactive simulations animations through which uh, experiments are being guided and most of the assessment is based on procedural and manipulative skills so those were some of the highlights of the digital resources the new section that has been added to your paper 1 will be bringing in many more lectures for your paper 1 stay tuned and have a wonderful day ahead